Okay, now what we've done is gone through and combined the um, the clear images, blue image, green image, and red image to create these master images. So we'll just open these up in Maxim, and what we're doing is we're going to combine them um, to create the master image where all the the data is actually combined. So here's the green image um, data, G. Here's the clear image data. Exposures taken through the clear image uh, filter. These are the exposures taken through the blue filter. And here's the ones taken through the green, um, the red filter. So we'll go color, combine color, and uh, we need to find. There we go. Okay. And we'll go LRGB uh, align. Okay, overlay, and now what it's doing is is Maxim is aligning the clear red, green, and blue images, and that can take a little bit sometimes. There we go. Remember, we've resized the three by three binned images so that they're one by one binned image size, so that um, it makes this part. Um, a, little, a little bit tidier, a bit easier. Now this will look horrible, uh, I guess. Let's see. Okay, so there's, there's the galaxies with the RGB data added to the clear data. Now you see here, what you can do is you, you can actually com um, increase the ratios of the red, the green, or the blue. Um, for example, I'll go do something stupid and make it 9 and go full screen in the red channel and you can see that now the galaxies look horrendously red. Um, this is a one of the more challenging spots of um, of processing is actually getting that the color ratios correct. You can, there are methods to do it, use at the telescope where you adjust the exposure times through each channel and when you come to this part you combine them all one 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 um, I haven't actually quite mastered that yet but anyhow um, what I tip tend to do oh, is um, basically go through and find one of these stars here compared to the actual um, field of view I'll just move this out of the way a bit and um, Let's see, okay, so there we go, here's our two galaxies. I'll just get rid of one of these, get rid of this one. The program I'm using is Guide, Guide 9, it's put out by Project Pluto, it's a fantastic program. Um, do a Google search on Guide plus Project Pluto, and um, yeah, it's a really good program. Anyhow, in Guide I tend to find a star which will be have the same spectral response, spectral color as our sun. Now this star here has got a spectral color of F8. Our sun is um, a G2V star. So we will probably go for one of these stars here. Experience shows me that this this sort of color is pretty much a star like our sun. So on the actual frame we're looking for now let's make sure the orientation is right yep so we're looking for the star here there it is there let's see if we've got got it right one two three four and go up to that one and then zoom in a bit one two three four then up to that one there so we'll we'll pretend um, that this is the a G2V star for the sake of video size, I'll, I'll just do this quickly. So, um, what you do is you get this um, line profile tool, and basically you just put it through this star here, and I'll just do that again. You can see that the red channel is way higher than the green and the blue channel. So that means that we have to go through and change the ratios of the RGB. In fact, if we put them all on one, go for um, you can see now that the green is actually a lot more dominant. So we'll increase the, um, the red and 
the blue. Okay, we're getting there, we'll just go up a little bit more. 1.6 in the red, 1 in the green, and 1.6 in the blue, full screen. Okay, just a little bit more. We'll go 1.7 in the blue, 1.7 in the red, full screen. And there, you can see, um, actually can, I think we might be able to get a better indication if we make that big. Yeah, you can see they're all peaking around the same value now, um, which is about 30,000 counts, um, which sort of indicates that using this G2V star, if we combine the red, green and blue, um, it's like the cones in the eye, our eye, human eye, on a bright sunshiny day, um, when all the colours are coming in, the red, green, blue, and they're all combined together at the same ratio that'll give us white light using the Sun which is a G2V star so too um, using Maxim we've actually found that G2V star just up here combined them all um, using this ratio these ratios here red 1.7 green 1 blue 1.7 which means we used 1.7 times more um, blue in the channels than we did in the green and we've ended up with the, the galaxies that look um, fairly okay okay so we'll just go okay and not now what we do is we save this um, as our G2 um, L, L, LRGB image and we'll save it as a TIFF image 16 bit do a manual stretch and go full screen and you'll be quite surprised when you actually see it now you go whoa where's all the stars and galaxies gone well that's up to Pro, uh, Photoshop to actually now bring out the data um, that's hidden from us so we'll just go do that next okay we've um opened up the TIFF image in Photoshop now I have to do this really fast because the video is not recording properly too long and it doesn't um, save it so we just go into levels and we drag the slider down to start bringing out some of the detail in the galaxies and the stars then we come up here to adjustments and go curves and we do what is called a flat to the finish um, stretch where you're trying to bring out as much de um, you know quite a lot of the faintness and you can see it's bring brought out some of the fainter detail in the galaxies go back to levels we drag the slider to the left hand side of the um, of the mountain and then we go here again to curves and we'll see if we can actually bring out a little bit more of that fainter stuff see around here that galaxy has a lot more um, stuff in it than immediately meets the eye okay so we'll go okay image adjustments back to levels and we drag the black point down go okay now that the color doesn't look that good so what I'll do is looks a little, little bit I don't know bluish maybe so I'll just take it back a little bit green perhaps um, in the red okay now again because I'm rushing um, I'll be doing a horrible job most people will spend literally hours um, at this part of the this part of the um, of their photo when they're processing we'll be doing this in a minute or so uh, let's see we'll just go adjustments hue saturation try and bring out some of the colors a little bit more probably a bit too much okay um, let's get rid of some of that blue background color balance shadows Ooh, too much here ok 
Okay. Now try that again. Image adjustments, color balance. We'll go for mid midpoints. Again, it's subjective. Compare. <laughs> Back to the start almost. Uh, let's see what can I do. I'll just drop that down a bit. Bring that up to about there. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we'll go okay. Um, now, one thing down here, you'll see there's a bit of a um, line where the stacking wasn't proper because the, the CCD moved, the telescope moved in relation to the galaxy over time. So we'll just crop it fractionally. Okay. Um, actually, we might just crop a little bit off there to bring the galaxy galaxies up a little bit more and we'll try and bring out a little bit of detail in the galaxy by going sharpen unsharp mask and where's our galaxy gone there we go and increase it now if we can do this properly we'll bring out more detail in the galaxies without putting a ring around the stars and if we look, you can see there's a little bit of blackness starting to appear around the stars, which means we're going too much. So I'll bring that back to about 2. And bring this back a fraction. And let's see if we've actually um, done any good. So we'll just go to Preview. preview. Yes, brought out a little bit of detail in the galaxy. OK, so I'll go OK. Um, and again, to save time, I'll just quickly um, save this. Here we go to save it. Um, save. Okay. And hopefully, here, is this the one? Here is our final. Uh, <laughs> actually, I'll tell you what. Oh, Anyhow, um, so you can you can now see um, what what the final image looks like um, compared to the initial image. You know, you've brought out we've brought out a lot more detail than that TIFF first showed, and so on. And like I say, we could spend literally another hour on this um, galaxy getting a lot more de um, detail and so on and these f images there's only three in the RGB so we could do 10 times long more to really bring out a lot more detail the longer more exposures you take you increase the signal to noise ratio dramatically well it's the square root so if we took 10 100 exposures um, would bring out 10 times as much signal to noise ratio these galaxy would, galaxies would jump out um, compared to the sky behind them. Anyhow, that's um, that's where we're at.